We are live at Imo State, Nigeria. One of our clients consulted us because of the mortality they were experiencing in the farm. So that's why he consulted us to come and give them training so that the mortality will stop here in the farm. Because the mortality here is quite very high because of a lot of things that they, they have done wrong in the farm. So we are like asking them, I asked them when I came to the farm, some few questions them. And they, from their reply, they did not do their part well. One thing mistake they did was not treating the soil before they started. Before the farm, they stuck the snails. The soil of the greenhouse was not treated. This is a greenhouse housing system. The soil was not treated, and that was what was causing the, the losses, the death rate in the snails. Because there was this ant, there is one black ant like that. The ant is very poisonous. Once the ant bite the snails, it will release poison into the snails. Before you see, the snails will start breaking that water. So that was one of the major causes of the death. And in terms of even feeding, they were not feeding the snails very well, understand? So there was no proper management. The management here was quite very poor. So that's why the mortality was happening in the farm. So we are here to remedy the case. We're going to put everything together. So we are going to choose the soil. So we mix the chemicals that we use and treat the soil. What we need for the soil treatment are we need the salt. We have all the materials there. We need salt. This is normal fishing salt. Fishing salt. This is salt. Then we need the sniper. This sniper. We need kerosene. We have kerosene here. So we are going to mix them. Then use it to treat the soil. First of all, what you have to do is to get into your water, get more and more water. Then you put your salt. your salt you add your curry you add your kerosene this kerosene this will eliminate all the old microorganisms and all the old insect inside the farm you add your sniper you add your sniper. So I'm going to add the sniper now. Give me your camera. Bro. You add the sniper. All you do is to stand. Mix them together properly. You stay very well. Make sure that you stay so that all the old, the salt, the sniper, the kerosene, everything can mix very well. This will eliminate all ants, all microorganisms that is causing the mortality in the farm. So the next thing you have to do is to pour into your spring can. So we are going to pour it into the spring can now. So this is the greenhouse that I'm going to be treating. We have already brought out all the old snails. So what you do, if you're experiencing mortality in your farm, what you have to do is to bring out all the old live snails. We have brought out all the live snails there. And after bringing out the live snails, what you have to do also is also bring out the dead ones. Then you treat the soil. 
after you finish treating the soil you allow the the soil to stay for like five to three days before you put in your snails back so we're going to treat this soil now as you can see we've already prepared our treatment we've already prepared the chemicals that are going to be used so we'll treat it now so you spread so all the creeping in insects in this place that is causing the mortality they die now It's advisable that before you set up your snail farm, you treat the soil very well so that it will eliminate the microorganisms and the ants in the farm. So once the microorganisms are eliminated, your snails are safe. But if they are not eliminated, the ants really affect the snails which happened in this farm. This is the bad ant. This is the bad ant. Very poisonous. Once you touch the snail, buy the snail, you will release chemical to the snail, and the snail will die. So that's why we are eliminating all of them now. Your hand is so hard. Come on.